The wide-ranging art styles of Ken Cosgrove are currently on display at the Pump House Art Center in Niagara-on-the-Lake. Cosgrove personally selected the works for the exhibition called Tapestry. Last year they asked me to hang a couple of pieces and I did it and then they wanted an exhibition. And so this is a kind of um, small part of what I do, you know, from I swing from painting to drawing to this kind of thing, you know, the prints. I am a printmaker. That's basically what I was interested in. And what we see surrounding us, does that represent new work for this show or kind of a collection? Of it's a collection. I've got a lot of work in the studio, but you know, I don't like getting rushed. I like to take my time. The beauty of Niagara is displayed in several of the works. The piece shown here called Dandelions in the Vineyard stems from a drive past the Wiley Farm with his wife, Margaret. Well, when I was passing, I saw it. I mean, you couldn't miss it. It was just unbelievable. I'd never seen so many. And I thought, I'm going to paint that. Uh, so I sat for a couple of hours and, you know, drawing here and there to remind me what I was looking at. And uh, then I went home and painted them. At this stage of your career, how, how active are you with your work? Are you constantly producing something? Oh yeah, uh, I took a, a kind of hiatus there after the show, but I've got about four or five canvases. I always work one and then I get tired and I go to the second one. It's, it keeps the mind fresh. So any given time I've got the minimum of three sitting on easels. <laughs> Art is Cosgrove's passion, but it was graphic art that was his life's work. Much of Ken's career was spent as an instructor at Niagara College, where he founded their graphic design and architecture programs. I had probably some of the finest students that I've ever seen. You know, and that's not because I was teaching them. I had excellent instructors, all industry who knew their stuff, and we ran it like a work. It was, you become, you come here at 30, and if you're not here, you sit outside. That's it. And introduced them to the various processes, and life drawing was a main part of it, because that taught them to look. The opening reception for Tapestry became a reunion of sorts as many of Ken's former Niagara College students came out to show their support. There was about 100 people here, which is a record, I suppose, but yeah, they, a lot of people came uh, to see it, you know. Um, How do you feel about being the center of attention on a night like that? Is that something that you're comfortable with? I don't care, yeah. you know. I really, you know, like, as I say, if they like it, I'm happy for them. But if I don't, if they don't, too bad. Don't care. <laughs> Tapestry is on display at the Niagara Pump House until August 28th. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.